Golly, look at this Godzilla. I'm gonna go hide in it. Hold up. Wait, why would Levi lock his own doors in his own? I mean, I guess. I freaking guess. God forbid. Maybe this side's unlocked. Damn it! What the crap, Levi? Why would you do this? All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Sean. Welcome to my channel, Rabid Jay Z. Now, if you guys are seeing any videos prior to this one that are the Rabbit RB, that is me as well. Thank you for viewing. Uh, decided I'm gonna try something new, you know? Um, I was given some positive criticism and I realized that a lot of my videos that I've been making were made to the audience that I have already had and not to the new viewers that are coming to my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, introduce myself. Uh, this is my buddy Levi's R32. Uh, obviously, it's Godzilla, whatever. Um, I am an owner of a 2JZ S14, makes big power. I've got a lot of uh, plans for it, like today. Now, I have been sick and tired of waiting. For those of you that have been following the uh, freaking the bull crap that's been going on with my transmission breaking and everything, and I, I ordered new parts and stuff, my parts have been stuck in France forever due to the COVID-19 virus, and I'm just so sick and tired of waiting. So, uh, this car here needs a clutch, all right? Yeah, it needs a clutch, so I ordered Levi a clutch and some parts to uh, repair the things that's wrong with it. And in return, Levi is giving me the swap out of this car. Now, I'm going to give him some money and whatever to like add up for the difference, but I'm taking the transmission out of this, and we're putting it in Rice Box. Uh, Rice Box is my 2JZ S14. So, this... This was a cool build that he wanted to do, but all of his focus is now on the R32. So, this... It's a 2JZ Ford 31. It's a 31 Ford Coupe or sedan, and uh, we put this 2JZ in it. Uh, this is obviously, it's just on the back burner now, so he's just going to, I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to build a, uh, a street car. Uh, Rice Box is a freaking full-blown race car now at this point, and it's, uh, you know, it's just not something that, it's not comfortable driving on the street, but I will do so you know, for the content made. But this thing is extremely easy to get to. It's an R154, of course. Bolts are literally right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt this thing, pull it from the engine, and then, uh, yeah. Okay, so I figured out that we might not even need the hoist, so I basically almost have the transmission out already. Yeah, dude, I told you, this thing's super easy to work on. I oh, designed yeah. this thing to come apart because I figured I was gonna break it a lot. Okay, the real question is, did you bring the battery for the impact? Well, okay, so it's broke, Okay, that's... but I brought the air impact. All right, so I got the transmission completely unbolted. Levi's working on pulling this guy up off the floor here, so that way the trans uh, will fall. And I think we're just going to go ahead and pull the shifter off there. I think it'd probably be the best idea there, Levi. All right, so we're back at my house. I got a rice box right here. We are getting ready to get moving on this thing. You guys can see my beautiful paint. As you guys saw in the last video, I'm gonna go ahead and put my clutch and everything back on. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna use the Murano like I always do. Pour ice box out of the garage, put the clutch back on or the, the transmission, get it all in the car, and we're gonna have this thing moving in no time. I cannot wait. It has been way too freaking long. I'm telling you what. That tranny right there is going on there. Come to find out that it was actually a tripod transmission, so this will fit perfectly in the car, and it's stronger. I think we should be doing pretty good here once I get everything all worked out. Should be fine. Good to go. Got my clutch on. I'm gonna slap this transmission on there and she's going right back in the car. Alright guys, so it has been literally probably 16 hours. I started getting really aggravated at the thing and just did not really want to film anything. But it is now dark. But I guess for you guys that really want to know, it's in there. It is. Uh, it's definitely in the in the engine bay. It's uh. It's all ready to go, but it just will not start. All right. I just. Uh, I don't understand. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Uh, I didn't change anything before, like from the last time. So. I guess i mean we're just gonna have to start over tomorrow uh to, to figure out why it won't start uh start the starting fluid 
I'm just not getting any fuel out of the injectors. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to figure it all out. But I guess I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in the car. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. You guys cannot tell me that that does not look amazing. I'm still waiting on my uh, intercooler from Ryan at Humble Engineering. He uh, has been really busy lately. But, yeah, I just can't get the car to start. And, uh, yeah, there's just nothing I can do about it. I'm going to get rid of these blue couplers later. I got, I'm just going to wait until the new intercooler comes. But just look at that piping, man. Look at that color. It just looks so good. And my, I mean, my cam gear just offsets the white to match the outside color. It's just, oh man, it looks so good. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a little update. Um, I have not been doing much. I have not been uh, filming at all. Uh, I was gonna, I was using the GoPro for that, but then I ran out of space, and I just didn't want to go inside because I was on time crunch. I was trying to make a car meet tonight, but I couldn't. The car just wouldn't start. I don't know what rice box's problem is but uh she needs to work uh work it out i need to figure out a game plan here because this is just not this is not how it works normally she normally just uh goes so i just uh i don't understand so i'm gonna come back out tomorrow and give her a try and i will uh talk to you guys then let's take another good look at her before we kick out of here oh man that looks so good Oh, I'm so glad I picked these colors. So glad. All right, guys, so it is the next day. I haven't filmed anything at all today. Uh, I figured out the issue pretty, pretty quick. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. It, they are, in fact, my injectors. So I'm gonna have to spend a bunch more money for a new set. I made the mistake. I didn't realize my transmission parts were gonna take so long to do. And uh, yeah, they kind of sat in E85 for a while, or E85 sat inside them. And I knew I should have pulled them out and sprayed uh, gasoline through them or something. But uh, here they set. Uh, these guys up here were my 2150s. And these are my old 2200s. And this guy right here is bad. These other f these other five are good. Like, if I could just get this one cleaned. Because this one sprays for a little bit and then it gums up and then stops. These 2150s do not do anything. Which is sad. Like, they were such good injectors. and I mean, it was my fault. But... I might order a new set of uh, 2200s that are fuel matched and tested and everything with sheets and then have this both of these sets sent off to be cleaned so that way I have, you know, two extra sets for, you know, this engine it sucks, but whatever. So another thing, I might just go ahead and, you know, give it all, give it to you straight here. This transmission is a tripod R154. I can't remember if I said anything about this. But uh, this is the better version of the R154 that I was completely unaware of that Levi even had this. So shout out to Levi for even, you know, focusing on the skyline more and letting me have this transmission to uh, run and play with. Um, my transmission parts for this will be here tomorrow. And I'm probably not going to be in any rush to pull this out again and uh, get moving around with it because... I want to go drive my car, and, uh, yeah. If the injectors take too long, I might, but I'll do a full video. I'm going to do a bunch of videos on the transmission of the build and everything, so you guys can uh, stick around for that, because you guys will probably going to be extremely excited for it. Okay, so it's been a couple days, and I actually didn't think they were going to come this fast, but uh, my new 2200s have just got here, so I'm actually going to go install these in the car and uh, make sure the car runs before I do some other things. All right, the injectors are in. I did that in like freaking record time, like literally five minutes. It is so hot out here. There we go.